this was our last chance. I didn't even want to think about the possibility that the anchors had fallen too far from the wreck for us to find something this time. But nothing could prepare me for what we did find. Not only had the anchors fallen on the wreck, but they had fallen on the edge of five vertical tubes. We had found our U-boat. It was without question U-215. And not only could I see the open tubes, but there were the tops of the mines. As Jim had stressed, find those tubes and you found 215. She was the only Type 7 D-Class sub ever lost on this side of the Atlantic. But there was little time for exploration. We had all studied the drawings. We knew that if we moved forward from the tubes, we'd find the conning tower. And there it was, still containing the base of the periscope. The hatches were still sealed. Not only was it likely the entire crew was still inside, but there was a possibility the sub was airtight. We had found the world's only known remains of a Type 7 D-Class submarine and the first U-boat ever found in Canadian waters that was sunk in action. 